Hello, my name is Sam, and I'm Director of Consulting at Tech Impact. We're a nonprofit technology services provider. Today I want to show you how to actually configure two-factor authentication using the Microsoft Cloud. Before you get started, you should take care of a few things. You're going to need at least E1 or higher Office 365 licenses. All of your devices are going to need to be running Office 2016 or later. You're also going to have to make sure that any of your users on mobile devices are using Outlook Mobile instead of ActiveSync. ActiveSync is an older technology that does not support two-factor authentication. And finally, you're going to want to enable modern authentication. We'll provide links. We'll provide links for how to do this. It will need to be turned on for both Exchange Online and Skype for Business. This is the feature that allows you to actually use two-factor authentication. Today we are going to be going over two-factor authentication that is available with E1 or higher licenses. If you add on an enterprise mobility and security license, there is more that you can do, including enforcing two-factor authentication for your entire organization rather than user by user, whitelisting the IP addresses of your main offices, and a number of other features. So let's get started. We are going to log into Office 365 as an administrator. We are going to open up the Administrator Console and we're going to open up the Users section, Show Active Users. From here I'm going to click on the More drop-down, and I'm going to go to Set up Azure Multi-Factor Authentication. The first thing I'm going to do here is click on the Service Settings tab. And I'm going to allow users to remember multi-factor authentication on devices they trust. If I don't do this, then users will have to redo multi-factor authentication every single time they log in, which can be annoying. Click Save. Now I'm going to go back to my users. I'm going to click on any user I want to enable. I can do this for multiple users at one time as well. I'm going to start by enabling multi-factor authentication, which enables it in any application that supports it. And then I'm actually going to go back and I'm going to enforce it. If I don't enforce multi-factor authentication, it doesn't do me a lot of good. It allows users to be connected using older pieces of software, not using two-factor authentication. So that's it. You'll now see that my account is enforced. So let's see what that looks like. Let's log out, and let's restart our browser and connect again. I'm going to put in my password. Now because this is the first time I'm logging in after two-factor authentication is enabled, it's going to require that I set up this account for two-factor authentication. So let's click on Set it up now. And I'm going to start by putting in a phone number. I can select how I want Microsoft to authenticate me. I can use a phone or a mobile app. I'm going to use phone, put in my country code and my phone number. And in this case, I want it to send me a code by text message rather than calling me. Now sending me a text message. Okay, so I've received a text message on my cell phone. Let's go ahead and type that in. And now I've verified my account. I'm going to click Done. And now I have access to Office 365. Now I don't have to go through that every time. Let me show you what it looks like every time in the future I'm logging in from a new device. I'm going to go ahead and launch Outlook in this case. Now this is a new computer. I haven't done anything with it, so it's going to ask me to set up an account. And I want to show you what that looks like with two-factor authentication. I'm going to go to the wizard here. I want to set up a new account. And now you can see that the screen when we're logging in looks very different than it used to. Rather than a traditional Windows login screen, we have a modern login window. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to log in with my password. And you can see now it's telling me that it's texting me a code. This is two-factor authentication at work. So I'm going to type in my new code, and I'm going to click Sign In. And that's it. Now my Outlook is configured, and I can go ahead and finish, and Outlook will launch. And that's how you set up multi-factor authentication in Office 365. I really want to encourage you to do this as it's an easy way to dramatically increase the security of your nonprofit.